Doc Stanley working on boxing, you, you've seen the face, uh, the greatest night heavyweight of his time. But more importantly, you know, Oscar, uh, Golden Boy showed what you were about as a human being. Uh, service to others is what you pay for your space on earth. Muhammad Ali, Dr. King, life's most persistent urgent question is, what are you doing for others? And I think beyond missing you outside the ring, the human being that you're, you just talked, uh, nobody will ever replace you as number one because people liked, loved, and respected you. And that can't be brought can't be replaced. In the words of Ali, you're the greatest. Oh, no need, no need to comment about it. That's the truth. You don't thank get. You. You're not bringing your guy here to lose this fight. No, look, uh, look. We we uh, we have the pleasure of promoting both fighters uh, with Floyd and with 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 uh, Marquez. Um, it, it really is going to be one of those fights where where it's it's a toss up. Uh, we wanted to match the best against the best, and uh, I don't care what people say. Um, Marquez uh, had two great fights with Pacquiao and in many people's eyes he won and so in my eyes in a lot of people's eyes that makes him the best fighter in the world and now when you have Mayweather coming out of retirement the king is back mm. you know they never dethroned him he retired he took a little break now he's back so now you have the two fighters the best fighters in the world fighting each other look I'm just very happy and proud to be part of it and uh, we're going to make sure that this event is a huge event. Being a promoter now, that had to be very helpful and easy in your transition of leaving the game. Cause you're sort of not leaving it totally but it kind of helped you mostly. It was, uh, it was difficult, it is difficult, um, but obviously being a promoter uh, makes it much easier for me to, uh, I guess, ease that pain that I have from retiring from boxing. Look, I love boxing. Uh, boxing is my passion. Um, I've already had many offers to come back and fight uh, all over the world. Um, it's not about that. It's not about that. It's about respecting the sport. It's about having the passion for the sport and uh, you know having the passion to compete and fight and I don't feel that anymore and I just I just felt that it was the perfect opportunity for me to just retire because if I don't feel that passion to train to wake up in the morning to run to fight then then I'm cheating myself and I'm cheating the fans and uh, you know that's why I just decided to retire and uh, and move on and uh, we'll stay uh, involved with boxing promoting and making sure we promote the biggest events uh, in the world. Last question, what do you say to the youth of the world who idolize you as well as the adults? What does Oscar De La Hoya say as something to uh, put the hat on? Well look, I, I grew up in a, a very humble uh, neighborhood, uh, humble beginnings um, but I always had a dream. I always had a dream, a vision. Uh, ever since I was nine years old, I remember signing an Olympic poster. I signed it, Oscar de la Hoya, Olympic champion. And I still have that poster and uh, I never ever uh, uh, gave up on my dream and my goal. And uh, as long as it takes, as tough as it is, um, it is possible. And uh, because nothing is impossible, and I'm a, I'm a perfect example of that. And uh, no matter what it is, whether it's at school, no matter at work, or whatever you want to pursue, uh, just do it right. Give 100%, and uh, and the outcome will be positive at the end of the at the end of the tunnel. You never be replaced. Tiamo, we love you. Thank Thanks you. a lot, my friend. Thank you. God bless. Appreciate it. Thank you. Doc Stanley, working on boxing, the one and only Oscar the Golden Boy. Oscar Hoya. Thanks, man. Okay, Mama. 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 See you later. Por favor, suscríbete a nuestro canal de YouTube, Las Cinco Esquinas de Nueva York.